a tad bit louder than I want. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. So this is what I was teasing yesterday. Um, I've got a story behind this uh, before we start, so... <laughs> uh, buckle yourselves up, pal. Um, so, of course, you know, I'm, I'm a person who, you know, is on the internet sometimes. And, uh, I saw Markiplier playing this game. Uh, I never actually, like, watched his video, but I saw he played it. I'm like, huh, that looks interesting. I'm always down for interesting indie games with interesting premises. Um, plus, I saw this in my recommendations a while ago uh, for Steam games, and uh, I guess I just, I, I never had, like, the drive to play it, but I don't know. I don't know. So, um, yeah, f sh fucking shout at me in the comments. John, you're playing games that other people have played. Can't always be original, guys. <laughs> like I'm ever original, right? No, I'm super interesting to see what this is in general. I have no idea what I'm gonna get into, so. But it looks like it has interesting characters, interesting story. Uh, I'm gonna try to play the whole game in one stream if I can. Wait, hold up a sec. Uh, bad and theater. Uh, time. Um, about two hours. Oh, okay, so it's not that long at all. Yeah, no, this is going to be a full stream of just this. At least I hope it is. But, uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Um, da, 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 da. right, get out of here. Oh, hello? Oh, you are not in full screen. Um, I was just watching Markiplier play this game, Lamal. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm getting into. I saw it in my recommendations, and that's why I wanted to play it. Um, can, I, can I get full screen? Uh, shit. Oh, damn it. Um, F4? Uh, control function F4? That muted my volume. Um, okay, that works, I guess. Right, hold up. G give me a second, guys. Uh, well, a lot of death and wholesome st uh, stuff. That is all I'm about, so yeah. Alright, um, I hope this gets full screened at some point, because. Alright. Okay, I'm just gonna center that. Right. Um, transition. I still love this new transition. Oh shit, I, yeah, I forgot to. I was gonna do something, never mind. Right, I'm not sure how loud this game is. I hope it's good. Um, right. I guess enter. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, but I'm excited to see it. Welcome to Bad End Theater. On the stage, we shall be toying with fate. You will make, ah, sorry, fucking shit. You will make many choices, unlocking darker and darker paths, all in order to witness the lone, lovely variety of tragic events. First, allow me to explain how it works. To begin the tutorial, select whichever doll you like. Um, the human, the demon. Just any? <laughs> we get up to some devious activities. Your face looking guy, just minding your own business. How will you interact with a human doll? Uh, I'll play nice. Try to make friends with a human doll, but it kills you in cold blood. How ruthless! Found your very first bad ending, but don't worry, the story need not end here. Let's reset the stage and try again. Try controlling another doll. Alright, I'll try the human. Mind your own business. I'll play nice. Yay! Set your differences and become friends! Why, this isn't a bad ending at all. I should have written out this possibility and not just uh, sued to my theater whatsoever. Now that your story goes, you know, behavior in advance. As you just saw, these behaviors will automatically be set to whatever you chose during the last playthrough. But you can now turn each one on or off without having to replay- Okay, okay. I see, I see. It doubles as a puzzle game. Now try turning the doll's behaviors on and off to see how the different outcomes. Oh, I see. What if they're both hostile? Uh. Oh. There you go. Okay. Wait. I don't. 
Yeah, okay, I think I get it, yeah. Uh, relax and collect all the bad endings at your own pace. Now, without further ado, let's start the show. Oh, hello. Let's change the flow of events. Okay. 41 endings. Uh, the Overlord, the Underling, a Maiden, the Hero. Damn, I guess, uh... I guess I'll go with a hero. Or the hero, you like to think of yourself as pretty reliable and swell guy. Life has been rather, uh, rather ordinary, aside from occasional heroic adventures, fighting evil monsters and whatnot. You're told the maiden from your village has been kidnapped and is lightly held captive at the nearby demon overlord's castle. Who even puts a village right next to an entire demon argument hangout? I don't get it. Alright, hold up. I'm throwing down my volume. Not your guys' volume, just mine. Alright. Happy to protect the townspeople, though. You were, uh, you were born to play this role. Yay! Head off your adventure to rescue the maiden. <gasps> but some demon soldiers block your path. You can kill them and gain experience. You make quick work of the vile creatures that stood in your war. You feel much stronger now. All right. Made to the castle's front gates. So you're faced with an army of demons that all look very intimidating. They don't look that intimidating. It extends to explain why you've come, but the monster uh, before you is eyeing you with suspicion. They can't help but notice the demon- OH NO! No choice, you have to fight off an army in self-defense- Oh well, more experience points to you. Shit, this is not how I wanted- I am a horrible person. <laughs> your way through the castle, fending off all the demons that stand your way. Overlord appears, demanding to know what the hell you're, you're doing, murdering all your soldiers. You get straight to the point and ask her where the maiden is. She feigns ignorance. I, I don't think that's feigning in ignorance. A convincing act, but you won't be fooled. If the maiden is here, then what happened to her? You can, o you can only see one answer. They overlived, definitely capture her. In fact, it's possible she's already been devoured. Think about that poor man's fate. You become strong from the hordes of demons you took down. The oh god, the Overlord is almost no match for you. You cut her to pieces. The Overlord has fallen. Be a slight relief, but your job is not yet finished. You search the castle, unfortunately. Yeah, that's what I thought. As much as I've already been devout. No. You feel hollow. But what does that matter if you were too weak to save someone? Sentinel in the midst of carnage of Potter, what it means to be a hero. Ah, fun. Well, that's ending number one. <laughs> Reset the stage. Okay, um. Do this again. Alright. So instead of fighting them, I'm gonna flee like a coward. Forgetting your pride, you can't escape with your life. You can't ever turn home now. Your reputation will be ruined. You take your chances at the castle. You're here after all this is your job. Yeah! Yeah, now I can ask. Near Steven, explain why you came here. They stare you down and feel very uncomfortable. They seem to trust you and escort you directly to the Overlord's chambers. That was easy. You ask about the maiden and the Overlord doesn't seem to know what you're talking about. Was she really never here? You wonder what could have happened to her. The Overlord says she wishes she could help you, but the first few... But you're the first human uh, who's come here in forever, at least that she knows of. You think how probably you shouldn't trust her, as she's a demon after all, but you can't really prove she's lying either. You apologize for the intrusion and return home to your village. The maiden was never found. Useless hero ending. Alright, hold up. Ah! Okay. I see. Oh, fucking here it is! Jesus Christ! Right, good. Put that in a place. There we go. Um, what did that say? Skip unseen text. After choices transition. Okay. Um, I'll save. Return. Um. Right. Okay, so let's check the maiden. What? Where'd she actually go then? You are a maiden. You live in a peaceful village next to the spooky demon overlord's castle. You were told that you're... Fated to be captured by the Overlord one day, because you're a beautiful young girl. I am a beautiful young girl. Look at me. Demon Overlord 
apparently love capturing those. <laughs> you think how you haven't heard that actually happen to anyone? But maybe the demons just haven't given you the opportunity. Who knows? You're in church. You pray to your gods, asking why you have been born into the role of a maiden. You respect their divine plan, no, but you're really just curious as to what the point of it uh, is. You're impatient. Meeting a demon actually sounds pretty gosh darn exciting. Maybe you'd understand the role better if you were just hurried up and get captured already. You leave a note and venture <laughs> worth to find a demon, just so, you know, you'll see what happens. No long you f oh, isn't that one of the guys? Your little venture. Uh... A demon underling appears before you. Looks pretty scary. Tell the demon your name. Explain that you're a maiden from the village. Demon suddenly jumps at you and says, "What? Ah, how painful! Players was completely stupid. You think you couldn't have been more patient? Why did you go looking for trouble? You weren't angry or anything, but of course this was all your fault for trusting a demon not to devour. I trusted demons before. What? This is your punishment for questioning fate, you guess." Bit by bit, you were swallowed by the demon until you were no more. Damn. Alright. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go back. Skip to the choice. Uh, shout for a hero to come save you. You yell, but no, a hero does not come. Oh. Alright, um, I guess I have to play these other ones to get, okay, I see, okay, this is really interesting, I like this, <laughs> alright, I really like this, sorry I've been screaming into the mic by the way, your service to the overlord, you aren't particularly strong, but not particularly weak either, that's what your friends tell you, your job is to guard the castle, keep humans away, it's unbearably boring. Heroes rarely come all the way here to challenge the Overlord anyway. It's a lot of standing in one place staring into nothing. Feel like you're gonna go crazy if you don't get a break. You decide to ask the Overlord for a day off. She gives you an earful about responsibility and questioning obedience. You wait for her to finish her lecture before returning to your post. What, she, she, what does she know about anything? Who made her the boss of everyone? You complain about the Overlord to your friends. They agree that she is kind of a snob and totally deserves to be kicked off her throne. You only wanted to vent your frustrations, but the conversation somehow turned into an assassination plot. You should probably steer this in a responsible direction. Yeah, no, let's let's not. You tell her friends that, they were, that you were totally not serious about this whole thing. You're actually cool with the status quo. After all, life must be pretty dang good if the, if the thing you have to complain about is that you live and come to real... That's fair, yeah. Alright, yeah, no, I chose that because, like... I would never want, like, blood on my hands. That'd suck to, like, start, you know, World War Three or something. It's not, but don't seem convinced. You say a coup d'etat would be uh, more effort than it's worth. But you're still gonna be a rebel and sneak out of the castle. Your friends praise your mischievous ways. A change of atmosphere excites you. You spend some time rolling around in the grass. Well, I have regrets. Why did free you? As you make your way along the path of a nearby human village, you encounter a maiden. Seems very friends and screams are here to come save her. You consider your options. Wait, okay. Mans aren't the best meal, but you figure that you should live up to your demon eight and strike backs against the humans. Start devouring her. Other humans would surely praise you if curses went around to see. Oh man, if only someone could have been watching. Time to find an audience to, uh, time to find an audience for your evil deeds. You wander into a nearby village. People are screaming and running away, throwing rocks and whatnot. You think that's pretty rude of them? <laughs> they haven't even done anything yet. Put on a show, change your mind. Uh, okay. You check the nearest human. He is old and weak. His bones crunch delightfully. Your audience screams as goes louder. Applause. You think, hey, this is actually pretty fun. I should have taken revenge like this a lot sooner. As you continue your bloodthirsty dance, strike, uh, striking the village down, you fail to notice a sword-wielding hero running towards you. Takes you out once to flow, and you're just a demon underling after all. As you die, you think that was totally worth it. Current closes. Performer underling end. Okay, sick. This is very interesting. I like this. All right. Hungry. Okay. If I don't select hungry in. Okay. Skip all this. 
Yeah, the demon still doesn't seem to be really listening to you, which is a little irritating. <laughs> that's that's such a fun thing to do. Oh my god. They agree to make uh, take you to your uh, master, nonetheless. After a long walk to the castle, you were introduced to the Overlord. She lectured the underling that brought you here, who was apparently told not to leave their post. You wonder what cruel punishment awaits them. But to your surprise, it let them off easy. The underling's dismissed, and the Overlord turns to you, looking very interested. Explain why you come, and she squints at you. Turns out she never had any plans to capture maidens or do anything else that would agitate the humans. You wonder for a moment if she might be lying, but it doesn't really seem like it. Still, this doesn't make any sense to you. I've always been told that demons would one day seek you out and something awful would happen, and a hero would come to your rescue. And you don't want to believe that you've been lied to all along. Maybe it's just that you haven't been maiden-like enough. She asks, you ask the Overlord what you should do to be a more suitable maiden, and she doesn't seem to understand. Just go home and stop worrying about destiny so much. Yeah. That's a, that's a fair point. <laughs> to make it sound so simple, the Overlord seems like a complete opposite of you. Want to learn more about her... Uh, and how she thinks. You insist on saying to talk with her more. The overlord tells you again that you should get lost. How rude. You just got there. Alright, I'll, I'll... You don't want to cause your uh, any trouble, so you figured it's time to go home. Along the way, you encounter a hero. He asks you what you're doing, and... Don't you know the overlord's castle's, like, right there? Explain everything that happened. The hero seems to think you're lying to him. He asks if you've been brainwashed by the demons. What nerve. We're very upset at this so-called hero would treat you this way. You leave in a huff. You return to the village alone. Everyone was very worried about you. I surround you with a thousand questions. You need to tell them your story. As you explain, the overlord never had any intentions to harm anyone here. You notice the looks are of the uncertainty on the crowd. People are whispering things to each other while you speak to them. You are loudly interrupted by an older man. He really calls you a demon sympathizer. Cries growly unruly. You don't understand. You've only told them the truth. Why do they not believe you? Everyone begins speculating what must have actually happened. They weave elaborate lies and ask you to prove your innocence. How could you have returned without the aid of a hero, they ask. You could have not have possibly escaped the Overlord without your harm. She was really nice, though. <laughs> you must be conspiring with the demons, trying to trick everyone into believing they aren't so horrible creatures to know them to be, so they say. Have the people of your village always been this blinded by their fear and hatred of things they never cared to know? You wonder how you missed that before. She's by the crowd and voices from all sides calling for pubs public execution. Oh shit, I thought this was going to be a good ending. No! <laughs> You're going to be burned at the stake. You don't want to die. You wonder, would it have been better to hide the truth? You don't like to th the thought of that. Oh god. You've always lived honestly, so why has this happened? Why are you being punished? Hear the dissenting voices of your family and neighbors, but they, like you, are powerless against the momentum. They can only watch as you burn, and can only cry for them. We're so, so sorry. Damn, oh my god. Well, okay. <laughs> die, die, die. I, I guess. Alright, alright. So, wait. I want to I try something. Turn Hungary off. Obedient. And then, if I play the hero, will she be coming back? Okay, that would be awesome. Flee like a coward. Alright. Uh, after all, this is your job. Yeah, yeah, this, like, this is such a cool thing. This is such a cool concept. Oh my god. Overlord's Castle. You spotted Maiden heading back towards the village. She couldn't have come from the Overlord's Castle, she could she? This may be the exact Maiden you're currently seeking to rescue. You approach her with curiosity. You ask the Maiden what she's been doing. She does, oh, the Overlord's Castle is like right there. It's dangerous. Maiden explains that she spoke with the Overlord, and turns out the demons never had any diabolical plans to harm the village or anyone in it. Believe her story, come on! You have to assume she's lying to you, even though her story is kind of hard to believe. You think you should trust her. Chella, you're pretty surprised that everyone's been wrong about the demons all along. Taz people must be informed of this immediately. Two of you return to the village. They had all been so worried, they pray for you. The main quickly sets the record straight. There was nothing she needed to be rescued from in the first place. Villagers look to you for an explanation. You politely inform them that this isn't your story to tell. You merely ran into her on the way to the castle. She explains that the Overlord isn't interested in capturing maidens or anything of the sort. Villagers turn to you again in dis- Oh shit. They aren't even being subtle in how little they trust the maiden's story. You totally believe her. 
But to placate these fair sailings, you volunteer to speak for, to the demons personally, just in case. Cat breaks into hush whispers. You're too busy thinking what a great and reliable hero you are to hear what they're saying. He implores you to meet with the Overlord immediately and says they'll, I'll keep an eye on the Maiden until you return. Okay, at least she's not dying. That's good. You figured that, that sounds all right. But the moon is kind of intense for some reason. Did you miss something? You aren't sure what's going on, but you get the feeling that it might be bad to leave the Maiden on her own. But she suddenly takes off running. Oh, Oh, you thought the two of you were in this together. Her actions convinced the crowd that she was obviously a liar, a witch from the start. People are shouting at Hunter down. That doesn't sound like a very heroic task. You can't help but to feel these people are wrong. It's up to you to catch her and talk the demons out of- Oh my god, this is sick! <laughs> okay, Kimchi, shut up. I'm peeing on my grand- <laughs> Oh my goodness, have I just been missing chat? I'm trying to sleep. Fuck off, man. I'm trying to play games. <laughs> I'm winning, dude. I'm I'm the hero. The air becomes dark and thick as you enter the deep demon territory. And is evil mis mi mi miasma? No, you realize that's just a normal smoke. It's the main ahead, but she stopped in her tracks. The overlord's castle is engulfed in flames. Shit! Wait, how did this happen? Oh god! You've only taken an eye off her. The main for a second, but she's already disappeared. Get closer to the castle, but the smoke is so thick now. You think of turning back. The maiden might need your help, but you can barely see. She's impossible. Fine. She could be lying to you all along. Was this a trap? Would it be risking your life on that chance? Your legs feel heavy. No, going in there would be suicide. You will turn to the villagers and tell them there was nothing you could do. It was too late. The maiden was claimed by the demons. Bystander hero end. This is pretty sick. <laughs> You're giving me a nightmares, bro, noob. <laughs> oh, man. Good to see you all in chat, by the way. All right. I'm going to go, um, oh, see, diplomatic. And then I can try the maiden again with the diplomatic thing touched, t turned on. Let's try the overlord out. Get good. This is pretty sick. I, I, yeah, I'm a nerd. What about it? Fuck off. <laughs> it is pretty sick. I haven't seen a game like this before. You are the Overlord. You live in a castle surrounded by your demon servants. It's a pretty cushy life, you think. Except those pesky humans that keep killing members of your army. There's even a rogue called Hero, whose pur whole pur purpose in life is just to dethrone you. What's the deal anyway? You actively avoided pissing off the humans and hope that they'll leave, leave you and your army alone, but they never do. <laughs> I've never seen those game. Stop with using the nerd emoji! <laughs> You guys can fuck off. I genuinely think this is sick. <laughs> All right. Still new to this whole Overlord thing. If you're being quite honest with yourself, you don't really understand the politics of it. But you remind yourself everyone's just doing their best to fulfill their roles. You won't let them bait you into being an evil Overlord they expect. You think yourself pretty cool and mature to hold yourself to a higher standard like that. One of your underlings walks into your room, totally interrupting your thoughts about how awesome you are. They're saying something about how boring it is to stay in one place and guarding the castle all the time, especially since no one ever comes here anyway. Yeah, I'll give him a break. <laughs> I'm being ganged up on on the chat. No! Not again! No! <laughs> oh my god, dude. They're whining about kind of bothers you. What to do with this, underling? Um, get another day off. Tell them to go take a break, and sitting in the castle... Fuck it, ba 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 Fuck. You guys are just... You guys are just... Taking every single word I'm saying and putting it in the chat with a nerd emoji at the end of it. I'm done, man. <laughs> uh, you tell them to go take a break from stifling ca castle atmosphere and refresh their dark soul for a day. Off should be... A, uh, a day off should be fine every once in a while. They thank you and happily scurry off to do who knows what. You have nothing better to do today, so you decide to nap for a little while. Being the overlord sure is great. You wake to a knock on your door. The underling from earlier brought back some company? It's a maiden from the nearby human village. She says her role is to be captured by you. The man goes on to say- Oh yeah, he's not hungry. <laughs> I'm just 
<laughs> looking over at chat. It's beautiful, actually. <laughs> you guys are, you guys are amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> so she comes here to speed things along. Appreciate her honesty, but regret to inform her. You never had any plans to capture humans. She seems very disappointed by this. Uh. Well enough. How can I be more maiden like? You don't really understand the question. You think that, uh. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> <laughs> laughing like a nerd. I am, dude. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Uh. The maid seems to be having a hard time wrapping her head around this. She says that you stay and talk to her more. Feel warm inside as she looks into your eyes. This is the first time a human has looked on you without contempt? You wonder what to say. Let us stay for a while. Yeah! Let's change the future. <laughs> I gotta stop looking at chat. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, can't you bring yourself to send this maid away. She just got here. You enjoy a long chat with her. Sharing stories about your kind. She expresses her surprise that demons are not all what she expected them to be. We're glad she seems to have an open mind about these things. I was bring out how you always instruct your army to avoid humans. It's not to agitate them and get heroes sent your way. That explains why the people in my village have been left unharmed. It's because of your orders, isn't it? We are very grateful. She's surprised. You're surprised to hear her. Thank you. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, it's not humans to be violent and unreasonable. That's why your servant's always getting killed, despite your efforts to leave them alone. But this maiden is different. You joke that maybe you're, you've are you been lying to her this whole time, and that you were actually super evil all along. May main last uh, saying she wouldn't mind being held captive here. The people in her Ooh. Oh, we're gonna get held the heat. We're gonna keep some maidens in the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I got to tell you guys about the story. So I, I, I um, I, I don't think I've been, uh, I've talked about how I look before, but basically I'm just, I'm like the most normal looking nerd out there. Like brown hair, just, I'm, I'm not like fit, but I'm not like, um, <laughs> I'm not like, you know, super muscular and, uh, and I have glasses of course. So, um, every time someone, uh, Ian sees that fucking, someone who looks like that in public, they joke that another one of me have, has escaped. And goddamn, I just pretend like there's a dungeon in my basement that's just, uh, fucking full of, <laughs> fucking, uh, full of, like, other Johns in containment, and they break out once in a while. I don't know. I don't know why I thought of that, but... <laughs> I'm not muscular. <laughs> I'll be I'll be honest, dude. Speaking of muscular, oh my god, Scott. He's been he's been working the fuck out and he's been getting pretty pretty me, meaty meat is that fuck it not in mind. Other shots. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit! No! Streamlabs! No, don't do that! Don't delete their messages! Oh god! No, Streamlabs, why would you do that? Scott. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, not cry out. <laughs> no, not cry out. Oh my Scott, he's been put in pretty meaty. Not cry out. I don't even know what you're saying. Oh my goodness. I've got to fix that fucking bot, dude. I'm going to do your mom labs. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. You, tell she, you can't tell if she's into you or not. Oh, she is. It's a robot show by another human in your doorway. It's time. Uh, this time, it's a hero who's apparently searching for a maiden who was rumored to be have been captured by your kind. Captured? Not all. I only wanted to meet the Overlord. Didn't anyone read the note I left behind? After everything was explained, the hero expresses his relief that the whole misunderstanding had led to horrible. I can't speak. Uh. Maiden apologizes for causing trouble, and the hero asks her to return the village to him. Confused feelings well up inside your heart. You're surprised that you had one of those to begin with. You don't want the hero to take this maiden away from you. Mmm, I'll let them go. They seem fine. <laughs> She'll return to spend more time with you. Just so you have uh, trust in that, you decide. With the hero and maiden gone, you plop down uh, into the comfort of your luxuriously over the... The room feels so empty now. Is this loneliness? Your hope is your new friend. Uh, you hope your new friend will be back soon. You close your eyes for a while. 
until your door slams shut. For you know it, everything is g What causes this? Try to escape, but something's blocking the door. You're having trouble forcing it open. What is this? Someone doesn't want you getting out. Are you being usurped? They'll have zero foresight. What castle of... Betrayed you, but this is no accident. Those ungrateful bastards. You choke on the thick black smoke from the fire. Can't believe you're being done in by a bunch of cowards. Uh, kills millions of people with the spell he just cast. <laughs> you see them in hell. How the fuck? Okay, it's definitely something with this guy's thing. So I'm just gonna turn all these off and, you know, be this guy. Jeez, there is 41 endings, isn't there? I can see them. Right. Let's try to get to the end of some of these guys' stories. Uh, unlock the third. What is that? The fuck? <laughs> now you're not even quoting me! <laughs> Motherfuckers. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Stop with the emojis! Now! I'm being engulfed. Oh god. No. No. <laughs> Oh my god, that's that's hysterical, man. Right. <laughs> I'll play the maiden again. Um. Uh, not to solve things through violence. Right. Plight. Obedient. Right. Let's go back to the maiden. <laughs> oh, goddamn. Skip out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Any excuses on the hereafter? Let me realize. Right. Special gratitude. She... Gratitude? What? What's a gratitude? Does you think you're. I always thought the demons were violent and reasonable creep, but it seems the overlord could have uh, could say the same of humans. It may be different, but they're really just trying to live their lives the same as you. You feel like you're starting to understand things a lot better, but maybe everything I said was to deceive you and other humans. <laughs> what would you do if I turned out to be a super evil all along, even if she were to capture you now? You think this place is more interesting than the way things were back at home? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> God damn. <laughs> keep glancing over at the right side of my screen, which is just filled up with yellow. <laughs> what would you do if I was an evil villain, guys? Would you follow me into battle? Alright. Uh, oh, feel free. Honestly, you've always kept to yourself, but spending time with the Overlord has been nice. You feel butterflies in your stomach. Oh, with all the fucking definitely in love. As you think that a hero enters the room. You try to see him at first, until you realize he must have been sent to retrieve you. I ask you what's going on. Explain the situation, reassuring him that you were never in any danger. Expresses his relief, this whole thing was a misunderstanding. I haven't apologized. Really, didn't anyone read that note you left? Jeez. Hero asks if you'll return to the village with him and give everyone the news of your safety. Overlords allows you two to leave, and you give her a little wave as you exit the room. You'll be back soon. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, dude. <laughs> D's. Uh, about halfway back to the village when you feel something is off. I'm able to take shake your concern. You look right back over your so Oh. You can return to the village like this. You have to know. You have to be sure everyone's safe. We've already taken off before the hero can even think of stopping you. You scan the fleeing demons, but the overlord isn't among them. Get your better judgment, you've run into the castle to find her. Quickly reach over to the Lord's room, but the door is shut tight. The handle is too hot to touch. You're too weak to force it open, so you pound on it with your fo What were you thinking? This this is all because you've forgotten your role. Only a hero could pull this kind of thing off. You start to cough. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Fire's a bit faster than I expected. You won't make it outside. You can't help... But laugh, what a joke, it made him save the Overlord? Oh, goddamn. Damn! Okay. Did you just- <laughs> Did you just copy the fucking description of my channel into my chat? Ugh. <laughs> fucking damn it. Ugh. Alright, alright. I 
have an idea. I have an idea. Right. Um. Fuck. So we're going through this again. Flee. That's the let you win. Right. Did then be in the middle of some casual conversation when you barge in. You all look at each other in surprise and confusion. This is no time to hesitate. Destroy the overlord. Ask for the maiden what's going on. Maiden explains that she was never actually captured and that she just came here of her own volition. <laughs> I always get the worst endings. God damn it. <laughs> I have an idea, nerd glasses. God damn it. Uh, alright. Yeah, yeah. Been quite quiet since the. She was a. Overworld's castle and going. You can't help but feel relieved that you got the maiden out of there, but when you did, but she suddenly takes off. Okay, there's no going. Oh god. Okay, 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 okay. So it has to be something with this bitch. <laughs> Let's see what this bitch got. Set out your adventure. Counter maiden, screw two. You're out, yeah. Right, right. Bottom line is what you gather is that she wants you to take her to the Overlord. Sounds like they could be interesting, besides, you have nothing better to do. Satisfied with your day out, you take the, ma the Madden. Madden 17. Oh my god, what are you saying, man? <laughs> what's, what's causing that to happen? Holy shit. Uh, my god, dude. Nerd language speaking nerd. <laughs> you guys aren't even trying anymore. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, they seem to be getting along just fine, so you decided it's time for a nap. Do I wake up in fire? You don't sleep long to your friends wake you up. Rude. One of them is stepping on you pretty hard. Ask them what their deal is. They say they're playing a whole revolution. They're gonna get rid of the current overlord and put a new ruler in a place. Uh, if they... Bah, 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 bah. Sorry. <laughs> and being pretty lazy early, of course you reply with, that sounds like a lot of trouble. How about we just skip it instead? But it's questioning your loyalty to the cause. It's actually not that bad, you guys. Your friends seem pretty disappointed when they apologize. Uh, they apologize to you before you can ask what they're sorry about. One of them seizes you. Someone who's still loyal to the Overlord really has no place in the castle. You understand, right? They call titans around your neck. You don't bother to struggle. You're outnumbered. You already know how things will end. Damn. Damn. This is a pretty messed up thing to do to a friend, you tell them. They slit your throat in response. Damn. So wait, how do I stop that from happening? All right. Right. Um. All right. Let's try this again. All right. Skip. Uh, sure. Let's overthrow her. Ah! No, you're sticking this overlord holding you and your friends back. You agree that's time for a change in management. Your friends suggest maybe you should be the new overlord. <gasps> I should be the new overlord? Th thank you for posting the image. Wow, okay. You guys are... <laughs> oh, God. oh, and that's just my link. Okay. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Maybe you should be the new overlord. Sound like that you announced your first act of rebellion is to take, a, to take the day off as... Fuck. <laughs> your friends are very impressed. You assure them that you'll talk more about the assassination thing when you get back to... Uh, when you, you, when you get back, which satisfies them, you sneak out of the castle to have some fun. Now that's how you do it. Okay, that's how you stop stop the rebellion. You do the rebellion and then you don't. Oh shit, that's not the return. Skip. Tell her to quit yelling. Ba ba boop ba ba ba. 
man's going on. Sounds like it could be interesting, besides you have nothing better to do. Skip. Where you found this maiden, knowing full well that you left the castle when you weren't supposed to. You apologize for just obeying her, but just hope that the maiden is interesting enough present that you may be forgiven. Overlord nods and saying everything's cool as long as you always listen to her from now on. You're impressed with what an easygoing boss she is. You mentioned that you can't believe you and your friends were even considering out throwing her. She gives a, she gives a look. That was just a joke, of course. She smiles and dismisses you. You decide it's about time for a nap. You don't get to sleep long. Your friends wake you up. Rude. One of them is step. Oh. They're planning a whole revolution. They're gonna get. Wait. Tell them uh, you were just joking and clarify that you were totally able to win it. They say you were always terrible with jokes. Whether or not you actually feel like killing the Overlord, you know how bad it'd be to end up in the wrong side of things. And if an assassination deal doesn't pan out, you can always pretend you were innocent all along. But beneath your shield of fox confidence, foe, shit. Ah! I can't do this! I can't read long. Uh, I need to get a drink or something. Hold up. Bold 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 up. I'm grabbing shit. Um, hell yeah, an Arnold Palmer. For those nice hot days of summer. And it's winter. Fuck yeah. Right. Seriously though, in my area, we're getting a winter storm warning and it's terrifying. It's not in the way that like, you know, oh, it's gonna kill all of us, but more in the way like, ah oh, shit, I'm gonna have to dig my car out again. Mm. Yes. Uh, but beneath your shield of... <laughs> motherfuckers. All of you, motherfuckers in chat. <laughs> you follow your friends outside the... I take the castle to talk more about the plan. They're curious if you have any idea how they want to go about this. Just lock her in a room and set it on fire. Which is a stupid plan that could go wrong in so many ways. Just a bunch of directionless thugs. That's someone's guidance. Your guidance. They'd probably all be casualties if you fought her head on. And while they slowly... MMA. Uh, it's probably a long way to go. Friends agree and suggest that you play the assassin. You really didn't want it to come down to this. But he can't back down now. You'll have to be the one that assassinates the Overlord. Besides, no one has any better ideas. They get a nap like usual. It's almost too easy. You silently approach your master. She still looks so peaceful. Time to die! Chicken out. Oh, this one. I'm gonna go chicken out route. Shit. Sorry. I'm a chicken out. Mm. You go through with it. Oh, why'd I tell them? It's them to let you out. Testing your loyalty. This is pretty fucked up. And ask, uh, and ask you to be let out. Why well, has turned the demon shut the door? Scream over the Overlord's claws and hide before she wakes up and sees you there. There's nothing you can possibly save. Oh. Yeah. No avail, you're both trapped. Too afraid to move, you resign uh, yourself to fate. And the Overlord burned. Damn. Oh, I'm back. Uh. Right. Time to die! The cleansing way to do is to be dig your claws into her throat. So you do just that. She wakes up, uh, but not in time to stop you. You watch as she chokes on her blood, cursing you before finally expiring. Damn! <laughs> mama, mama, milkies, please. I want mommy. I want milk. I want to be held. I want to be comforted. <laughs> God, I love that meme, by the way. Holy shit. Mommy, milky. That felt terrible. You hear her or you, and you weren't about to let yourself get killed by anyone. You leave the room to find your friends waiting just outside. They look pleased. Only now do you realize they must have planned to use you like this from the beginning. You're the new ruler of the castle. Their subjects bow before you. You live in fear that they will one day betray you as you betray your overlord. End B. Alright. Fuck, I don't know what to do here. <laughs> right. Hmm. Uh, 
Okay, I'm gonna go back here. Plates. Not hungry. Um. Uh, trusting. Uh, yes. Okay, and then. Yeah, okay, cool. Mommy Milky. <laughs> Alright. Rhythm day off, skip. Let her stay for a while. Skip. And then keep her here. Man, come here to capture me, didn't she? You grant her a wish. You tell the hero that you won't let her take her home. The man assures you she'll be back, but you don't budge. You're as cautious now. Won't let her boom. Maybe demons are evil after all, and if you are, you'll be f okay. So it's just a death ending. Destroy the hero. She's frightened. You don't understand why. Did she say she prefers this place to her village? Now she doesn't have to leave. Oh God. Mommy Mookie. I, t I guess that is a kind of a Kermit voice, isn't it? You don't understand. She wanted to stay here with you. The hero was trying to get in the way of that, and you had to kill him. Oh. Very safe. Quotations. <laughs> Alright. Um. I have no idea what to do. There's so many endings. Alright. Okay. Oh. Surely there's a good ending somewhere. Oh! Well, this is nice! Well, this is just a nice thing. Okay, damn. Well, I wish I knew this earlier. Hmm. <laughs> you really got <laughs> Alright. Hungry. Okay, so Tyrant, Hungry, and then Didiful. Let's see what happens there. Uh Alright. Let's see what happens in this. Slurp some mucky mommy milkies. Uh. Yeah, da 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 do ba ba. Hero showed up and started totally, to totally murdering your soldiers. What the hell, guy? You rush out into the battlefield to confront this jerkwad and you curse at him. Very rudely inquire his reasons for doing all this. Hero yells at you, demanding you return the maiden you have been holding captive. You don't know what he's talking about, but you can't forgive his actions. You do battle with the hero, but he's grown strong from cutting down your arm. You're unable to defeat him. We just ice the strings. Swings. He stabs and cuts you to pieces. You fall. You have failed your subjects. You spit curses weakly. You wish you'd been stronger. Maybe you're never suited to be the overlord in the first place. Truth was, you never were that uh, that much more powerful than the demons who say served you. It was the title, the control, that gave you the strength. These are your thoughts as you are swallowed by darkness. That's a sad end. Oh, that's not the actual back button. Alright. So, let's see, let's see. Can I just click? Okay, disloyal. No, okay, so I still have to run through all of them. Let's go the maiden's route. Let's see. Oh. Oh, yeah, she'll probably see what, what happens here. Alright. It's the overlord. Stays up with the Overlord for a while. Right. Diplomatic. Possessive. Okay. Um. Uh. Rambles a nerd. <laughs> I guess. Alright. Skip this, polite. Skip this. What? Huh? What? What? Wait. Right. 
Alright, yeah, okay, what happens? Yeah, okay, this, this, this. Oh, shit, I forgot to, okay, well, I'm stupid. <laughs> I forgot to tick this. Alright, skip, polite, skip. The overlord so objects to the hero's objection. She tells you your plan. You tell her your plan for returning soon, but she isn't having it. You feel nervous. The hero puts a brave face to you. If you won't let her go, maybe your demons are evil after all. If you are, I'll be forced to vanquish you. You leave each other's choice. She hears him with a claws. When a cry out, but a scream catches in your throat. You watch because you can't look away. Has she really been lying to you all along? You wonder, is this your punishment? Okay. Fix his glasses. Oh, you, uh, that, well, I did, but, I mean, mm. <laughs> Ooga, ooga, ooga. Their expression is complicated. Being captured by the Overlord in a horrible way like this, it was your destiny after all. She vows to keep you very safe from now on. You're afraid to find out what that means, but there's no one left to save you. It means sex. Ha ha, sex. <laughs> Okay, right. Um, let's keep checking. All right. Hmm? At least it's still the same bad ending, but whatever. Okay, so wait. Bam, tyrant, disloyal, hungry. Um, okay, I see, I see, right, okay, uh, tyrant, um, did a full, polite, um, right, tyrant, yeah, 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 disloyal, hungry, okay, Oh, let's do this. <laughs> Excuse me. Yep. Disloyal. Is it hungry or not hungry? Oh, it's hear her out, yeah. You're rudely awakened by the sounds of battle. You emerge from your room to find that the hero slaughtered many of your friends and work associates. What a jerk! Fucking come in here and just kill us, everyone. What a mean... What a mean guy! Avenge him! Killing everyone like he's some maniac? What did we ever do to him? You lunge at him while he's busy driving a sword into the guard. Who sometimes brought you food whenever they noticed you were feeling kind of down. Ah! You liked uh, that guard. You wish with all your demon heart for the hero to suffer for his deeds. You bite him, tearing flesh from bone. It tastes like iron. The hero struggles. To... You feel a sword go through you, but there's no pain, only retribution. Here is overtaken. Your army has won. You've earned your rest. Ah, oh, that's at least a tad nice. That's at least a tad nice. Okay, let's go back and choose the other thing. Save yourself. You look around at the lifeless forms. You feel glad not to be in their shoes. Also feel guilty for thinking that uh, that is you flew the castle. So you remember your rule, not as an underling, but as a demon. This kind of thing is expected of you. Maybe you'll start a new life away from all the humans and demons. Or I'll just leave peacefully alone in some deep dark forest somewhere. Eh. That's a nice ending, at least. Not a lot of these are, like, extremely bad. Okay, what's up here? Hmm. Um, oh shit, right, oh, let's go from the hero's perspective with her being possessive, uh, yeah! blue like a coward, da da da, Overload rejects. Main seems nervous. It's your job to mitigate these situations. Okay, yep. Yeah. I mean, no choice. 
Da da da, cruel fate, da da da, evil creatures, dying, blah. Dorito, do fucking Dorito dog in chat. You're kidding me. <laughs> oh my god. Knife hero end. All right, uh, before. Right. B4. Um, Rash. Okay, oh yeah, what happens from here? Obedient. Uh, boo 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 boobs. Ah, no, they, they keep stopping your messages, man. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, whatever. Flee. She can't be trusted. You're not sure if you should listen. You might have been taught your whole life that demons are evil. You asked if she's sure about all this, but she gets very upset that you, sh you think she'd lie. She storms off before you can say anything else. Decided to return to the village, certain that she must have been kidnapped. The kidnapped maiden you were sent to rescue. Good that took care of itself. You take your time walking home. Well done today, you think to yourself. This whole village is crowded around. Is that the maiden you saw earlier? She's bound to a wooden stake. The crowd is in a frenzy. <laughs> Fucking speaking in speaking in hieroglyphics over there, man. Yeah, no, that's fair. I'm gonna I'm gonna fair, I'm gonna I'm gonna speak mean to that Streamlabs bot. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell it how bad. It's been. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wave a newspaper at it. Mm. All that shit. But, oh yeah, that's right. She was burnt alive. <laughs> nice, you think. Viva comes in all forms. You reassure yourself. You decide to call the day to return to your health. Sinking feeling. Maybe you aren't cut out for this role. All right. Oh shit. Not that, that. 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 All right. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um. Okay, something, something disloyal. And then I can have interesting stuff over here. Okay. So disloyal. Obedient. Antisocial. Right. Um, wait, let's see. Let me see that again. You believe the main story. Okay. All right, all right, all right. What the fuck? Three endings here? That's kind of weird. All right. I don't know what's going on at all. <laughs> Dorito dog, Dorito dog. Damn, Dorito dog. All right. Uh, flee, skip, leave her story. All right. <sighs> Pretty surprised everyone's been wrong about demons all along. The townspeople must have informed you immediately. The two of you returned to visit the village. All right, did uh, yeah. Wait, did it? Something was wrong. Obedient. Oh, was she not obedient? No, she's obedient. Uh, antisocial, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hero flees, obedient. Trusting. Okay, and then... Okay, well, I better try this then. See where this goes. There's someone over here. Okay, non-possessive, diplomatic... All right. Bam. Let's do this. Oh shit! Uh, did I forget something? Um. Fuck. <laughs> Made meets the Overlord. Made stays with the Overlord for a while. Did a full. Wait, then what was that ending? Oh, 
Oh, she needs to be antisocial. Okay, never mind. Alright. Ski up. Ski up. I'll refuse to leave! You put your foot down and tell her that you're not going anywhere. You still want to fulfill your destiny, even if it, if you have to make it happen on your own. She's a little frustrated at your stubbornness, but she doesn't kick you out or anything. Hooray! The Overlord shares many stories about demons with you. Little by little, you realize they might not be ruthless monsters. Right. Okay. Okay. I see. I see. Right. I think I see. Shit. Um. May choose to leave. All right. Ditiful diplomatic. What? That doesn't make any sense. Hold up. That doesn't go by the script. <sighs> Refuse to leave. Skip, actually. What? Wait, hold up. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. So, wait, what happens? Talking. Okay, so it's not right. Still kind of confused, but whatever. Okay, it main stays with the Overlord. Heroic. He needs to be heroic. Okay, so that's the thing. Okay, 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 okay. Use the leave. He was suddenly dashes towards the Overlord, sword drawn. Protect her! Martyr! Throw yourself in front of the hero's blade, acting as shield. It's funny, you think you never could have imagined this would be the way you'd die. The rules are all switched around, but it feels right to you somehow. You're glad Destiny turned out to be saving someone rather than being saved yourself. Did your visions fade, you heard that? Wow, okay, this is a cool ending. I'll wait for your new friend. Sacrificial maiden end. Okay. Okay, I see, I see. So now, alright, we ask. Yeah. Bladed maiden. Why'd you do that? You're not sure if the question is directed at you. Overlord strikes you in a vengeful rage. You parry, she's slain. Your sword feels heavy. Look down your hands and your clothes. Blood. Blood. So much blood. You look to the fallen maiden, wondering what to tell the townspeople. Why'd you protect the Overlord? She must have been brainwashed by demon magic. You pick up the Overlord's head, wrapping it around your cape. You say that you were too late, and nothing could be done for the girl, but the Overlord is slain. There will be celebration. Alright, alright. Sick. Alright, so that's that's some good stuff. Alright, so that... So if he's not heroic, let's see what happens. Ski up. Use to leave. Ski up. No, wait, hold up. All right, let's try that. Let's see what that does. Refuse to leave. Here, barges into the room. His clothes are stained by dark liquid. It's seven from his weapon. He realizes it must be demon blood. Something horrible has happened. Confused, the hero asks, "What's going on?" You explain the situation, reassuring him that you were never in any danger. Overlord walks past the hero and out to the hall. She's wailing. You can only guess what kind of horrible scene he has left for her. The Overlord tears the hero apart in retaliation, watch silently, unable to scream. The Overlord, who you've just been getting along with so well, has killed another human and right in front of you. It's clear now that you have been deceived by her sweet words. Demons are ruthless monsters after all. You somehow may have just slipped past the Overlord and make it out of the blood-soaked castle. You never look back. Sick. Alright. Cool. More, more endings. Sick. Alright. Damn, we're halfway there. Alright, let's, uh... 
Let's try it again, but, um... Skip. Introduce. Skip. Obey. Time to go home. Encounter a hero. It's covered in demon blood. You were frightened by the sight of him and run away. Oh. Everyone was very worried about you. They surround you with a thousand questions, and you tell them your story. Explain the over and learn never had any attention to harm anyone here. You notice the looks of uncertainty. Um... Okay, and this is just burning. Okay. Let's let's do the hero again. Oh shit, wait. Uh slaughter. She runs from you for some reason. You wonder what that was all about. But then you remember she's covered in demon blood. Not wanting to look like you're a crazy person. Clashing after her. As you walk to the town square. Oh. Okay. Okay, so it's another it's another ending like that. Alright. Um, what are these? Is this good endings? Let's go this way. Alright, so... Maiden begins. Maiden stays. Hero's diplomatic. Wait, so if he's not, diplomat not diplomatic and... Thunderling is disloyal... Let's try that. Refuse to leave. Skip. In the castle's entrance, you spy a group of suspicious demons congregating. They are talking about assassinating the Overlord. You have to warn her! And the hero shakes his head. He says that if this is the true nature of demons, the world's better off with less of them. This isn't right, you think. What kind of hero passes up the chance to save a life? The demons have taken notice of you. It's now or never. You take off into the castle, and an unreliable hero follows you sh shortly after. Burst into the Overlord's room. All your world's spilling out at once. Oh, this is a good ending! Is this a good ending? This might be a good ending. You should probably slow down, but there's no time. No one seems to have followed your frantic explanation. Killian doesn't understand the urgency. You're surprised when they are part of this evil plot. They seem to be so nice. Other demons come right in after them, saying the whole thing was the first underling's idea. Everyone's shouting at each other now. It's really stressing you out. You're over you are relieved when the overlord demands silence. She threatens them with violence and you think she is <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Very overlord like in this moment. A group of demons hiss at each other before shutting the door, leaving the little one behind. You watch as he pounds on the door in distress. Have they locked you all in? You have a bad feeling about this. Oh my god, we're all in one place! Because now the room is engulfed in flames, but yet, if only I could ignore the demons before her, you and the hero wouldn't have stumbled into this situation. If you had just prevented, pretended not to hear them, if you left as you were told, only the Overlord would have been killed. But you couldn't have done that. That path isn't an option for you. You think no matter what, you'll always strive for the path where everyone survives. If It must exist. It simply must. Overlord sees our underling, and they beg for their life. You pray. You don't know what else to do, so you pray. Claws pierces the underling's chest. They scream in an awful scream. She digs a twist in the cart while continuing to pray. There's no saving any of you now. You, the overlord, and the hero, and the... Wow, damn. Damn! Okay, so what'd I do? So what happens if I play this as, like... The underling, and I'm only, like, disloyal. Let's try that. This should be happening. Alright, hold up. Ugh. Shit, well, whatever. So, wait. Try... Okay, what if he isn't? Let's try that again. Alright. Hear her out. Uh... Oh, nope, never mind. Alright. So we, we got some progress, at least. Let's see. Okay, I think I get it. 
All right. Skip. Oh. Appreciate your honesty. Oh, wait. She seems very disappointed by this. You've almost fallen asleep. Yeah, here we go, here we go. When the maiden and the hero burst into your room frantically trying to communicate something to you. You're told that a group of demons are planning to assassinate you. You're not surprised how nice the hu how nice of the humans are to care though. One of the underlings barges in, shouting that the humans are all liars. They're followed by another group of demons crying that everything was the first underlings plan. Everyone's shouting over each other, and now it's very annoying. So you yell for the Malta trust. They have no doubt that your servants would let their ambition clad their judgment and let them try to take your throne. Regardless of who let this conspiracy, I have no choice to punish everyone to keep you here all in place, crushed beneath my heel. That made you feel very overlord like. But you aren't sure if you have the strength to back it up, though. Lately, all you do is sleep. Going back to plan A and suddenly slam the door shut. You are the maiden. You, the maiden, the hero, and one of your underlings are trapped inside. In an instant, the whole room is in flames. The underling pounds on the door, cursing at their friends for betraying them. The hero pounds on the door as well, vowing to slay those cowardly demons from the other side. This is how you'll die, burned alive in your own rooms, by those thoughts you could trust. You should have expected this from a bunch of idiot demons, though. You notice the maiden crying. Why does she have to die over something that has nothing to do with her? Perhaps she was cursed from the moment she spoke to you. You wonder uh, if you're cursed as well. So filled up with anger and frustration, you don't even notice that you grabbed the underling those traitors blamed everything on. They're crying for mercy, saying they were- Oh, bleh, 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 no! <laughs> Uh, sorry. <laughs> They'd be killed if you took your side. They, they cried that they didn't want to have to kill you. You must feel sorry for them. Forgive them. Release the underling. Killing them wouldn't make you feel any better. Besides, they've already gotten their punishment. You all burn together. That's the true... Oh, it was the true end. It's Before you've taken back to reset the story, once again, you pause for a moment. True ending. You're s yeah, that's what I said! <laughs> What was the point of all my effort if the true ending is this terrible? You must have forgotten where you were. Oh. Bad on theater. Pain? Where's the pain setting in? Oh, you should have been well aware of what you, you'd be shown when you entered this place. It's a problem that I've seen quite often. At some point, you grew attached to my little cast and started to relate to their flaws, their plights. You started wishing for their happiness. But you aren't going to find that here in my theater. My lovingly crafted labyrinth of suffering. And anyway, I hope you'll pardon the interruption. You're making great progress. The choice to continue on to the next ending is always yours. I'll leave it to you, dear guest. Huh. Okay, let's let's do this all again, but instead, you know. Do, 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 do. Take retribution there. Your back's away. He he is wise not to interfere. Cause doesn't make you feel any better. Okay, good. So I got that. All right. What other stuff for the Overlord? Let's see. Trusting in the maiden. The maiden does something here. Okay. Let's get to some more of these bad ends. Alright, so let's see. Tyrant. Hungry. Okay. Tired. Hungry. Disloyal. Trusting. Let's see. Tyrant. Oh, yep. New new path. That's too far. You dismiss the underling and lie down in your nice, comfy overlord bed. Fall asleep. Just another one of your amazing talents. You're waking by one of your underling. 
They brought you a hearer who inquires about the missing maiden. You tell them you don't know anything. Humans never really visit this place. He believes you and goes home. You're, to your surprise, you fear he might try to fight you, but you're glad to get back to the map instead. What's going on? Something is blocking the door. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this this again. Damn. Alright. See them in hell. Another burned overlord end. Uh, that should have... That didn't. <gasps> oh, he can't be disloyal. Wait, no, he has to be disloyal. Let's try this again. Do doop. What are running lings is tearing your throat out. Try a struggle, but you can tell that you are already mortally wounded. What have you done to deserve this kind of ending? Curse them, choking on your own blood. You die wondering if you could have done anything to prevent this. Alright. So that's cool, that's cool. That's cool! Okay, and then the... Then the hero... Can't be trusting. Right. Tyrant, skip. No. Wait, hold up a sec. Did I do something wrong? Not disloyal, but trusting. Okay. Right? Yeah, if he's disloyal, but then this guy can't be trusting. Okay, cannot be trusting. I'm stupid. What? No, that's not right. Fuck! Okay, wait. Wait. Wait, what? Hungry. Overlord awakens. Disloyal. So he has to be disloyal. And then the hero is not trusting. Right? No, wait. Or the hero is trusting. Nope, nothing. Uh, gets me the same thing. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Maybe... Not disloyal, not trusting. Right? I'm trying, dude, I'm trying. No! Shit, no. And then, wait, hold it, is it this then? What? 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 <laughs> it tells me right here. Alright, hold up. Tyrant. Hungry. Overlord awakens. Coward has to be... Overlord awakens. If he's disloyal, then this happens. If he's not disloyal, and the hero's trusting. If he's not disloyal, and the hero's trusting. That has to be it, right? Right. Wait. Wait, I think I know. Do I know? Maybe it's Didiful? I don't know. I don't fucking know! That was new? Wait, hold up a sec. What was that? I don't fucking know. Um, let's just do this guy's true end first. Alright. Uh, underling plate. Disloyal. Antisocial. Obedient. Trusting. Alright, so. Uh, trusting needs to be off. 
Trusting off obedient on antisocial on disloyal. Okay. All right, let's try this then. Better doop. Hear her out. Skip. Wait, shit. No, I I forgot. Okay. Um. Hero is not trusting. All right. Skip this all again. Hear her out. Da da da. Disloyal. No, that's not right. Hold up. Reset. Disloyal, diplomatic, possessive. Let's try that. Right? Oh, wait, hold up. What? Wait. gets involved in the plot of the throne, disloyal, antisocial, obedient. I think it's trusting, isn't it? Why don't you try to get here around? Yeah, I'm making my head. Let's go kill it. Oh, there we go. You and your friends noticed the maiden from the earlier has overheard your entire conversation. There we go. There we go. It'd be bad if you, uh, the Overload found out about this. Oh. It was the way it has to be, you declare, before jumping and clawing her guts out. Turns out you're already an expert at ending lives. Your friends call you a show-off. You go back to the castle to wash off your icky human blood. As you're fishing up, you hear the sounds of a battle inside. Heroes come. Seeing the dead maiden must have made him pretty angry. Here took down the Overlord for you. Everything might actually work out in your favor. You wait for things to die down outside before panic, poking your head out. It's about the Overlord and the hero locked in battle. They've won each other, uh, worn each other down, making this very easy for you. You hit the back of the hero's head, knocking him out. What are you doing? Couldn't you tell this was a duel? You don't respond. You have to carry out the assassination. Tackle her and then rip her to shreds with your claws. Finish off the hero next. You can't hit, let him revive and come after you later. Kind of a cheap victory, but it doesn't make a difference. Anyone who manages to survive comes crawling out of their hiding places. Okay. Alright, alright. Cool, 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 cool. That was a new ending. So the maiden has to do something here. So I was disloyal. Disloyal, and then... Huh. Wait. Let's play the maid again. Maid again. Did it do? Did it do? Refuse to leave. Did it do? Hmm. Maiden has one more thing. Okay, let's check that out. Let's see. Alright, we gotta try this, the normal ending again. And then change it to merciful. Didding. 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 Or it spares the underling. You feel relieved, but does it make any difference? Will you all burn together? Yeah, okay, so that's the main true end. Can't end like this. Keep collecting bad endings for now. I. Okay. Oh! I guess that is... Huh. I'll check this out right now. Okay, I'll, cl I'll collect a few more bad endings. Alright, so right here. There's a, there's a decision I can make here to get back to this normal. Okay, so let's see. Antisocial, obedient, trusting. Antisocial, obedient, trusting. Alright. Obedient. He's very surprised that demons don't seem to you return to the village, hoping to communicate this to everyone. 
Wait, do, 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 do. I think I've already seen this, haven't I? Does he even trust you? I'm not sure anymore. The old man isn't saying anything. You'll be tied up and tossed in the cell of this way. If you're going to be held captive by anyone, it's going to be the Overlord, not your fellow countryman. Grab, grab the hero and run. Okay, so this is the thing. You boldly announce that you'll accompany the hero to prove yourself. You'd rather risk what's out there instead of staying in the village that doesn't trust you. No one seems to know how to react. You grab the hero by his wrist and take off before anyone stops you. You spy a group of suspicious demons. Yeah, okay. And then the normal ending happens. Keep collecting bad endings. Alright, I got an achievement unlock. Puppet Master. 26 endings, huh? So, trusting. Untrusting, resolute, merciful. Right? Okay, let's see. Wrong thing. Alright, hold up. Did I forget something? Ah! Oh! Maybe it does have to be trusting. Hold up, maybe I'm stupid. Your friends turn to notice a pair of humans have overheard your entire conversation. They take off into the castles. They're headed for the Overlord's room. Fuck! The Overlord will kill you for sure if she found out you were conspiring to take her out. You dash into the castle after the humans. Sure enough, the man's already from friendly telling the Overlord everything. You shout to the, that the humans are liars. Your friends soon and Ryan back you up. Except they don't listen. Instead, they blame the whole thing on you. They cry that it was all your idea. That they were just going with the flow, too scared to refuse your crazy blame. You can't believe they'd tell the Overlord such a blatant lie. I always knew better than to trust them. You're the one who didn't have a choice here. You shout at each other. Overlord demands you silence. Uh, da da da. She sounds so tough. But lately all she does is sleep. You doubt her strength. Traitorous friends muttering something. Da da da. The room bears some flames. You know, normal shit. Uh, maybe she'd rather see you suffer instead of looking around. You've gotten from one dead end to another. Man's crying. The hero is silent. You all burn together. Underling's true end. No matter the perspective, true ending remains the same. That's what makes it true. You couldn't resist seeing yourself, though, could you? I wonder what will happen when you collect them all. Will you give in to despair, or... Alright, let's see what this does. It can't end like this. You want an answer to the Maiden's player prayers. Decide to find a way to save everyone. But retracting the past you've seen so far, there doesn't seem to be any room to avoid a bad ending. Is there really nothing you can do to keep them all from getting killed in the end? There's nothing you can do by acting from within their story. Maybe it's time we take things into our own hands. Wait, what? Wait, what? I guess I am me. You boldly insert yourself into the story and use your incredible power to warp everyone's safety. You didn't know you could do that, but what's going on here? You take a moment to get a good look at yourself. You are you, but why are you pitch black? You feel that this body doesn't accurately represent you, but you move past it. The hero, the maiden, the underling, and the overlord have been staring at you too. They look like they don't really know what they're supposed to do right now. I mean, uh, right now. You guess that's because you're usually the one guiding them. What will you say to them? I've come to save you. Explain to the group that you witnessed many terrible intertwining fates. <laughs> this is coming from a crazy person. Of course this makes no sense to any of them. Only the maiden understands your compassion. My prayers have been answered. You must be her god? No, you're merely the player. If there was a god here, they'd be the final boss. That's just how these role-playing games go. <laughs> Sephiroth. Sephiroth! Right. Uh, now realize what the real true ending must be. Now, now, enough of this. Oh! We're killing, we're killing the puppet master dude. Oh, shit! Encouraging you all along, but a self-insert story? How passe! Watch helplessly as a tragedy descends. A tragedy is his name, okay. From the heavens. You didn't honestly believe you were the only one who could force your way to the stage, did you? 
I'm the narrator, storyteller, god of this world. Call me tragedy if you'd like. Darkness of envelops your party. Don't mind if I send each of them back to relieve one of their many bad endings, right? If you're alone in this darkness with me, tragedy, I sincerely hope you've been enjoying your time in my theater. Though I can't abide by you sealing the snow without permission, it's quite disrespectful. Uh, I'm sick of all these bad endings. And frankly, you should have never come to this place it's called Bad End Theater. Have we already been over this? You think defeating me just might be the only way to see a better ending? It's all that's left for you, isn't it? Well, this does sound like it could be entertaining. Show me what you got. Time to fight God! Oh, it's just another Sunday. Oh, damn. Stage is set for your final battle against me, the god of this world. What will you do? How will you fight against tragedy itself? I'd love to see it. Defend. Try closing your heart to protect it yourself, but it doesn't make you any better. Oh, is that all? You never defeat me like that. Wait, uh, let me try that again. <laughs> Attack! Try your best to te tear me down, but you can't seem to do any damage. You don't tr truly exist in this world, after all. Perhaps you don't understand just how outclassed you are here. Behold! My beautifully tragic tales. Doesn't seeing them all again make your heart ache? You've witnessed 27 of my painstakingly crafted endings. Your heart does indeed ache from these characters. How could you uh, want to put an end to all of this? Do you truly care for them that much? They're still suffering backstage. You know, it's a shame they couldn't make it here, to the end of the world. That's right, you came here to save them. You can't do this alone. Oh, damn, I, I well, damn, I... You find the hero in his room, hunched out over his sewing table. Your sudden intrusion scares the hell out of the poor guy. Are you some kind of demon? You explain that no, you're not a demon. You're, how can you explain it in a way the hero can understand? Instead, you ask why he's sewing. Oh, this? I craft my own hero gear. Since this is pride in this hobby. You wonder if the costumes are what atta attracted him to the role of hero. Would you like some clothes? You don't seem to be wearing any. Remember the state of your body and decide that, yes, some clothes from here would be nice. He's overjoyed by your answer. Apparently, the outfits are too gaudy for the other townsfolk, so no one else wants them. The true end for the hero suddenly becomes clear. You offer to change his fate. I can make a living as a tailor rather than a hero. Please tell me what I can do to re reach that dream. Hero and I'll fight alongside you. Oh, I agreed to follow you, but I didn't expect to face something like this. Hero has arrived. I love his animation, by the way. That, that's really cute. Wow. You're the one who's been killing us, murderer. I can truly kill myself here until I see you defeated. We'll see about that. Tragedy attacks him with a terrible fate. Ow. Willpower, justice. All right. I'll summon I'll summon the maiden. You happen to find the maiden as she exits the church. Her heart's set on meeting a demon. Perfect timing. She approaches you and having taken notice of your odd form. Excuse me, are you a traveler? I've never seen anyone like you before. Explain that no, you're not a traveler. Well, maybe you are in a sense. You've come all this way. Damn, this is a crazy ending, by the way. I didn't think, like, a, a story-based game would end this way, but that's... I don't know, it's pretty sick. Then perhaps you might be a demon? I was hoping we'd meet one day. Think of all the terrible fates that hope would bring about. She's the catalyst of the story, after all. My role as a maiden is to be captured by the Overlord. But you see, I've grown tired of waiting. Remember this part, she wanted to understand her role better, and so... Yes, what she's really hoping to gain from this. The man is confused by your question. Perhaps it was as simple as wanting to reach the place she felt like she belonged. The true ending for the maiden suddenly becomes clear. You offer to change your fate. If there's something I can do to find fulfillment, then please guide me. The maiden will now fight alongside you. What is this horrible creature? God, the animations are great, dude. I love... I love that. I love that. Um... Right. I remember you now. I remember all the awful things you put us through. This should be familiar to you as well. Tragedy attacks with a terrible fate. Willpower justice. Alright, let's summon... Let's summon, uh... Let's summon this dude. Which is the gate of the Overlord's castle. The underling is on guard duty, as he expected. They call out to you. The other demon's guard is sound asleep. Hey, you're a pretty weird-looking intruder. What do you want? Explain that no, you're not an intruder. Although you're definitely intruding into their story right now. 
So, I mean, kind of, yeah. Tell the underling you've come to save them from tragedy. Okay, try saving me from boredom first. I hate this job. The underling snickers. You ask what kind of job they'd rather have. I, it'd be best if I didn't have to work at all. I just want to live a carefree life and never get bossed around or picked on. Oh, don't we all? Uh, you think of the underlings' friends who had bullied them into the assassination plot only to betray them in the end. Right. If they kept better company, maybe they wouldn't feel so restless. The true end for the underlings, underlings suddenly comes clear. You have to change their fate. So there's, there's a way that even work could be fun? Sounds fake, but I'll tag along with you just in case. Let's see cool animations, dude. Damn, look at that. Wait, what the fuck? You didn't say anything about a boss battle? <laughs> underling, mm, you must be really desperate to call on such an unreliable ally. Huh, if I beat this guy up, all my problems will be over. Oh, but it won't be that easy. Tragedy attack was with a terrible fate. Uh, and then the demon lord last. You enter the overlord's room. Believe to see that the fire contained to, to the torches on the walls. When you close the doors behind you, the overlord rises from her slumber. Who are you? Have you come to reside in my castle and serve me? Explain that no, you're not here to serve her. It's more like you've come to do her a favor. Yes, why she spends all day sleeping instead of commanding her demon army. I mean, she lets him respond. Many of my underlings certainly think I should be more aggressive with the humans like my father before me. His quest for revenge was endless and self-perpetuating. There's a reason I had to destroy him. Can't help but think it's a little late in the game to be getting some new backstory. <laughs> okay. I have no interest in waging war on humans. I merely wish to be left alone and live a peaceful, indulgent life in my castle. Realize she actually might be very lonely, only surrounded by her so soldiers instead of friends. No wonder she gets so attached to the maiden. The true end for the Overlord son becomes clear. You offer to change your fate. My own attempts at peace have been rather imperfect. If you offer a solution, then very well, I will follow you. I will fight alongside you. Look at this! I see, so this is tragedy. Ah, oh, you've brought about the Overlord. I, didn't, I don't stand a chance now. You prevented me from attaining peace a long time. Prepare to die. <laughs> I hope you're prepared to face your deaths as well. Tragedy attacks with a terrible fate. Now the whole party's here? Fine. Can you solve my final puzzle? Which combinations of behaviors will show me the path to your true ending? Show me. Willpower. Rare terror ends here, tragedy. I refuse to give in. Your power here uses willpower to over overcome tragedy. Tragedy is reeling. Oh, it's that's really interesting, actually. Hope. Our trendings do exist. They simply must. Man hops in with all her heart to overcome tragedy. Tragedy is reeling. Underling, mischief, tenacity. Tenacity. Knock me down and I'll just come back stronger. Underling uses their tenacity to overcome tragedy. Ambition. I'll reach my true ending with my own power. Overlord uses her ambitions and nature to overcome tragedy. This is it. With everyone's hearts united, you take aim towards your best possible futures. You all unleash one final attack to destroy tragedy once and for all. Oh my god! First try! Idiot, I chose the right options. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Ha! <laughs> You've done it! You've managed to defeat me. A tragic ending for tragedy itself. I love it! I must thank you all for fulfilling your roles perfectly. Thank you, hero. Starring as himself. <laughs> thank you, maiden. Thank you, underling. <laughs> He's <laughs> oh, as themselves. Nice. Thank you, Overlord. None of this nonsense. We defeated you, so die already. Don't worry, I'll be making my exit shortly. Directed by you. Finally, thanks most of all. We couldn't have made it here without you. Yes, my bad end. Theater did contain a truly good ending after all. I apologize for antagonizing you for so long. I wanted to deliver a satisfying story. Was I able to do it? I wonder. I'm satisfied. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Happy endings shouldn't always come easily. Reality is not so kind. But you're in this one. Here's your true ending. Damn. That was that was that's an interesting way to close out of a, a game like that. Of course, since I, you know, have to Oh, look at that he's sewing. Of course, since I have the time to, I'm gonna finish this game, I'm gonna fully complete it. All that shit. Oh damn, work it. Hatsune Miku? 
Hatsune Miku! Ah, look at him. They're being friends. Miku Dayo. Miku Dayo. Miku Dayo. Miku Dayo. <laughs> Holy shit, it's snowing like fuck outside. Like fuck. Oh, I miss you too. Hatsune Miku. You're true, Anne. That's nice. Alright, of course, I'm gonna complete this bitch. Exit the theater. Enter! Hell yeah. Alright, back for more. You'll have to cancel out your true ending if you want to go back. Yep. That's reset. If you missed out on seeing all the 41 bad endings, you can keep your progress and reset. We're going to erase. Nope, I'm. Um... Yep, before the true end. Alright. Right. Right, right, right. Let's. Um, which one am I closest? Alright, let's just go left to right. Sick. Alright, now we just need to get all. Uh, I never got the hero's true end. Let's do that. Okay, okay, okay. So. Antisocial. Fleeing. Obedient. Trusting. Resolute. Resolute disloyal. Okay. Social. Disloyal. Alright, cool. Skip out this flea. Skip. Leave her story. Maiden announces that she's gonna prove her story to the village. She drags you along with her. She has so much better odds with you around, so you don't object. Adventurer awaits. When you make it to her castle, you spy a group of suspicious demons hanging around near the entrance. They can't help but overhear their conversation. They're talking about assassinating the Overlord. This proves to you that demons really are foul creatures. We have to tell her about this. You don't understand what the maiden is thinking. The world's better off with less demons. They're all cold, ruthless creatures that should be destroyed. And if those same creatures have just noticed you eavesdrops dropping, can't talk. The maiden takes off to the castle. You have no choice but to follow. You burst into the Overlord's room. The maiden friendly tries to communicate with just our overheard. Yeah, you know, normal shit. Ba ba ba. Damn. Resigned hero. Yep. And that's that one. But the uh she has to be Yeah, she has to be merciful. That's right. Let's do this, yay! Oh. Yay! Oh. Yay! You're surprised she lets it go. The demons are capable of mercing? I guess it doesn't matter now. They all burn together. Yep, there well, there we go. Here's true end. Okay, so we got the hero's true end. Um, let's get this one next. So it's the same thing, except the hero is... Oh? Disloyal captor. Oh, okay. Flee. Do -do. Do -do. Um, what does that mean, then? Obedient, you talk. Trusting. She can't be resolute. Okay. Believe her story. When you reach the gates, they ask the demons if you've seen the maiden. They have. They inform me she's being held in the dungeon at the moment. She trusts them, and in return they lock her up. So demons are truly evil beings after all. They demand you take her... Uh, to take you. To, to, to take her. But they do not let you pass. You should have expected as much from these unreasonable creatures. You know what you must do. Thrust your blade through the demon before you and rush to the castle alone. You're the only one who can save the maiden now. What the fuck are you doing killing all my soldiers? 
The Overlord is angry. You vow to exterminate her and all demon kind. You clash again and again, but the Overlord isn't going down easily. You're both dangerously low on health when... Everything goes black. Your quest has come to an abrupt end. There we go. Reset the stage. Alright, so we got that one. Uh, just two more bad endings. All right. Hero begins. Slays the demons. Fires his way through the castle. Hero apologizes. Alright. That's all. Oh shit, um, uh, screw off, do, do. The world is much safer with them gone. That's what you tell yourself. Find the main being held captive, the overload just as, for some reason, you can't sense anything sinister happening. There's no time to hesitate. Estimating what's going on. She explains that she came here on her own and was never in any danger. So he hesitantly asks you why you're covered in blood. You don't know how to respond. Overlord moves past you and out the door. Your army in lifeless bloody pals. She's wailing. It's horrible. This is your chance, hero. This is all just a big misunderstanding. I hope she'll let you this whole thing slide and you can just explain yourself. You really try, but the Overlord is inconsolable. Alright, so that's that. And then, uh, same thing. Tries to slay. Da -da. Da -da -da. Destroy the Overlord! You launch forward and during your blade through the evil Overlord, she screams, then falls silent. The Overlord hasn't been slain. You smile, offering the maid in your hand. She takes it after slight hesitation. She must be surprised on how strong you are. You escort the maiden home. She's oddly quiet, track from the way back. She must be too shy to speak. You're remembered for generations of the greatest hero the village has ever seen. Triumphant hero end. A letter flutters down from behind, beyond the curtain. You found Lost Letter 1. Oh. So yeah, I got all this. Lost Letter 1. My love. It isn't just fair at all, is it? For them to force us apart like this? It's unreasonable. Cruel. I have to find the outlet for this grief somehow. So I decide to write, and I'll keep writing the day you find me once more. And then, maybe, we could write a story together. I'm waiting for that day. Tragedy. Ah, uh, Wait. So this is an out- This- This- This tragedy theater is an outlet for him losing what I assume to be comedy, his partner. Alright, so there's three endings here for the maiden. Uh, do do do. Antisocial, obedient, trusting. Okay, disloyal, captor. All right, captor. All right, antisocial. Let's try this. Do. Obey her, skip. Shit, uh, which one did I get? Um, let's see, so... Did a full trusting. Did I set the hero's behavior to trusting? Nope. Alright, there we go. Obey her. Leave on your own. Prove yourself with anyone's health. Make a run for the out Overlord's castle, leaving the hero behind. They're talking about assassinating the Overlord. They immediately notice you overhearing them and lock you in the dungeon before you can cause any trouble. You cry out, but the demons ignore your protest. They can't believe you escaped possibly being thrown into a cell back in your village, only be tossed in this awful place. This is terrible. Who's going to keep these demons from harming the Overlord? I hope she can fend for herself. You sure can't. You hear the sounds of battle echoing through the halls outside. Did the hero follow you? If he's out there, your cries don't reach him. After a while, the violence seems to die down. It's impossible to tell what's happened. You tell you to wait, but no one comes for you. Unable to escape, you rot in that cell. Imprisoned then. Alright. And then, I'm guessing, no captor.
Notice you overheard them? First do something about it? This is just the way it has to be. Suddenly attack you. From that moment, you regret having ever trusted the demons. You die instantly. Okay. So going closer and closer, uh, the last one for the Maiden is... Man stays with the Overlord. Ditiful. Heroic. Do nothing, it's this one. And she lets out a horrible scream and you flinch. The Overlord is slain. Hero smiles and holds his hand to you, saying it's time to go home. His blood is drenched in blood. So hesitantly, you take his hand. Hero guides you through the castle, past the corpses of his enemies. You try to keep the eye your eyes at your feet. There's blood everywhere. You shut your eyes, but even then you can't escape the smell. All of this was because of you, wasn't it? You exit the ca castle, and the hero leads you back to the village. Everyone celebrates the great triumph of the demons. You feel sick but you take part in the f festivities regardless. Damn! Complacent. Letter flutters down, let's do it. Last letter two. All right. Last letter two. My love, I finally fulfilled the child of dream of mine. Yes, that's right, opened my very own theater. We'd be so proud if you could only see it. I know how much you it would have meant to you to be at my side at opening night. I'm sorry for going ahead without you, but I thought if my theater could just become world famous, maybe you might hear of it wherever you are. Oh, damn. Okay, so we only have, like, six more endings. Alright, so two of them are here. Uh, do do do. Brings the maiden to the castle. Disloyal. Diplomatic. Possessive. They go into the Overlord's room, but there's a couple of humans there. Watch the scene, fold. You aren't sure why, but the Overlord suddenly cuts down the hero. She approaches the maiden you brought to her earlier. With the Overlord distracted, you figure this is as good as a chance as any. You launch a sneak attack, getting right back at her. She flinches, giving you enough advantage to take her down. You rip the Overlord apart until she stops moving. That was messier than you would have liked. The maiden mutters something from the corner. Thank you for saving me. It wasn't your attention, but it sounds like you did something heroic. You tell the maiden to go home. This place is dangerous. She follows your advice and leaves the castle. Your castle. You are now... You are the new overlord. Heroic underling end. Alright. And then the last one is... Uh, he can't be diplomatic. He can't... She can't be possessive, so... Do do do. Bah. Alright, uh, antisocial, obedient, trusting, resolute. Alright. Toss her in the dungeon. Alright. Your friend sees the maiden and bring her to the dungeon under the castle. It's empty, save for the decorative skulls. They're only there to make her feel more spooky. Maiden is very upset. You leave her in the cell for in to continue scheming with your friends. But now the hero has arrived at the front gates. He's asking about the maiden, perhaps the one you very just locked up. Gatekeeper must have seen everything. Tells the hero exactly what happened. What an idiot, you think. Why give the hero an excuse to start slaughtering us? We're here to face justice and the other s such cliche hero lines before during his driving his sword into the gatekeeper's torso. That's where we begin cut out. The hero took down. Oh, okay, so this is just... Okay, I did something wrong there. Trusting, and then she can't be resolute. Yeah, disloyal. Antisocial, obedient, trusting.
Resolute. What? Okay, maybe she has to be resolute. At least she made it quick. Okay. Well, she just. Okay, it's just it's just the one where you get killed. Letter flutters down. Gotcha. Last letter three. My love, I've been feeling a little depressed lately. Many patrons have come to my theater, but none so far have stayed to experience every tale in its entirety. The critics haven't exactly been kind, but I, don't, I understand. My stories aren't exactly crowd pleasers. Despite that, you always listen to the very end. I'm grateful for that. I hope to see you again soon. Probably yours, tragedy. Alright, and then the Overlord, which is a couple of them. Right. So let's see. Overlord. Day off. Overlord allows the maiden to stay in chat. Did a full heroic. Skip. And then day off. Let her stay for a while. Skip. There's a sound of battle having started ringing through the Hassel house. Man, getting nervous, but you were sure it's only the uh, underlings for rough housing. No big deal. You know, it's probably the hero, but you don't want to upset the maiden by telling her that your army will take care of it. It's long before the hero bursts into your room. But he shouldn't have made it here. What, why didn't they stop him? He just stands there unsure of himself. He's covered with demon blood. As the man speaks to him, trying to explain the situation, you move past the hero and out the door. You're not thinking clearly. You're seeing your servant's bodies in pieces strewn up about the castle. Has really taken it out of you. The hero did that? There's so much blood. Why? Did he come for the maiden? Did he think she needed rescuing? There was no no one for, uh, for this hero to save. Here, There was just ne never any harm meant for anyone. You were just talking to her. Why has it turned out like this? He starts blabbing about insecure, insincere apologies and excuses, realizing his wrongdoing. But you are beyond hearing that kind of bullshit. You have had it with the human, always murdering your servants for no reason. You can no longer hold yourself back and lash out at the hero. When you gain control, there's nothing left of the hero. The maiden has fled in terror. You are alone. Okay. Damn. Some of these endings are real sad, yeah. Alright, heroic. Try that again. Feel sudden sharp pain through your back. You look down to see a blade protruding from your chest. Oh, that was careless of you. So this is how you die, stabbed in the back by some cowardly hero. What a joke. You're supposed to be the ruthless one. That's right. Humans can't be trusted. Not if this is what they're capable of. You should have remembered before letting the one in. You watch the hero take the main hand, leading her through the sea of corpses. He left in his wake. Captured by a demon. At least she got what she came here for. You join your army in eternal slumber. Dang. Alright, and then I'm guessing the last one is Martyr. Did it do? Get them to day off? Maiden shouts something behind you. You just turn just in time to see her throw herself in between you and the hero's blade. Pieces her chest and she falls to the floor, lifeless. As the pool of blood beneath her grows, so does your rage. This hero has taken everyone from you now. You lose control, and the hero is obliterated, but your hatred for you from humans have not yet been satiated. You go on to destroy them all and become the ruler of the entire world. Eventual overlord and a damn. One last ending. Okay. Let's see. All right. Underling to back to work. Hungry. Hungry. Awakens. Disloyal. Trusting. Alright, so. Tyrant. Wait, is it just. Not, not disloyal. Okay, hold up. What's what's going on here, right? So he's hungry, yeah. 
Or maybe he's not supposed to be hungry. Oh, wrong. Okay, never mind. Right, hold up a second. Disloyal, trusting. Maybe not disloyal? No, he has to be disloyal. Maybe coward? I don't know. No, that does change it a bit, but... Trusting. Coward. Behavior disloyal. What am I missing here? Underling behavior, disloyal. Hero behavior, trusting. So let's try to go the other way around this then. Uh, tyrant. Antisocial, obedient. Antisocial, obedient. The Overlord awakens. Do, do, do. Disloyal. Right, and then trusting. Disloyal, trusting. Must be missing something here. Am I not supposed to? Hold up. Overlord tells the underling to get back to work. Okay, so, okay, okay, so. Oh! Hero wishes to speak with you! <gasps> okay, so it was a bit of the wrong way. He inquires about the maiden who was rumored to be here, but you've never seen her. Humans don't visit often, or ever, really. Hero takes his leave. You wonder why he totally trusted you there. You were traditionally killed demons. This guy seemed like he was bad at his job, in your opinion. Whatever, you're still feeling sleepy, so you slip. Okay. Wait. Ah, shit! Ugh. He can't be hungry. So, Tyrant. Overlord Awakens. Disloyal. Okay. Ah, my nose! Wake up at the sounds of battle, a hero is cutting through your army. As the Overlord, it's your job to take charge of these kinds of situations. You rush out of the, of the piers. Val demons, I shouldn't have believed you for a second. That you were all but pure evil. I'll exterminate you all. So, okay, I was... You don't really get what he's going on about, but you engage regardless. A girl's gotta defend her people. Okay, so I get what I did wrong. It didn't, didn't really explain it, though. It, it was just kind of crazy. The hero isn't going down easily. You're both danger alone and hell, waiting for others to make a move when one of your un underlings will appear behind him. They knock the hero unconscious. You kind of appreciate it, but can't you see this was a duel? They don't respond. You sense murderous intent. The servant tackle you, tearing you apart with their claws. You struggle to retaliate. They've done too much damage. You can barely move now. Your blood is everywhere. You can't believe this has happened to you. Why has this happened to you? You've been slain by your own underling. So I couldn't kill the fucking maiden. So that was a fucking lie. Betrayed ending. Okay, there we go. Reset. Letter collector, I got that. Last letter four. Do you remember when you first met? I had just finished one of my scripts. I was quite prou proud of the fact. I read it aloud and you happened to pass by. What a terrible ending, you said. Why should these poor fools have to die? You were so ruled you wouldn't accept any of my justifications, and yet... You managed to convince me. It really would be better if everyone could live in harmony. However unrealistic that felt. 
Look back fondly on that day. Even knowing now, I wonder if, somewhere, you're thinking of me too. Tragedy. Every path I had to offer. Thanks for playing. Wait, is that the end? No, I have two more achievements. Okay. Plus two hidden achievements. Okay. Okay, so I have three things left, and one of them's just reset in the game, so I'll do that at the end. Alright, I'm guessing that means I have to... It can't end like this. You want to answer the maiden's prayers? You've got to decide to find a way to save everyone. But retracting the past, these things so far. It seems to be... Seems to be nothing you can do to keep them all from getting killed in the end. I don't want... Okay, so let's just skip this. Hero on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire. Hero is burning. The maiden is burning. Oh, I didn't even see this the first time. The underling is burning. The overlord is burning. Uh, skip. Hi, guys! Oh, I see something new! I'm trying to say my bad endings have gone out of style. You have some nerve. Time to fight God. Attack. You're right. Skip. Come into your throne. Surely these characters have a special place in your heart. They're still suffering backstage. I know. You know. Okay, so just summon them. Skip. 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 So what if I choose the absolute worst? Alright. Willpower. No, it's justice. That justice applies to you too, does it not? Will you pay for your own misdeeds? Okay, so. And then, kindness. Main try to appeal to tragedy with kindness. So I naive. I'll balance your kind kindness with my cruelty. Okay, yeah, hope. Would you like a reminder that you are mischievous will lead to you? Tenacity. I still love this ending sequence, by the way. It's amazing. I love all the animations and everything. Oh, has the violence really been working out for you so far? I'll show you my own brutality. Mission skip. Right. No. Well, I did my best. Have you ever... <laughs> Wait, do I not get anything from that? Self voicing enabled. What? I've missed you, my darling. Undo all our suffering. I'll write happy endings for all your tr self voicing. <laughs> That's not Miku! <laughs> That's not Hatsune Miku! Self voicing enabled. I've missed you, my darling. Un self voicing Okay, so that's that, that was the letter. Okay. Ah, uh, can I. Ba -ba 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 Okay, I guess I can't skip this. Oh, wait. I'm pressing, I'm pressing control, but it, it won't let me skip. That, that's what, what's flashing on screen. Oh, whatever. So there's two secrets that I still have got to find. Holy shit, it's a snowstorm out there. Oh my god. Anyway, uh, I love, I love, I, wait, the, the 
This is continued. Oh my goodness. Thank God it didn't let me skip. Oh. Damn. Okay. Your true end. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Well, that's that's just super. Something's missing. Huh? Oh, you're still here? The curtain's closed for the final time. I'm shutting down my theater. There are no more tragedies left for me to tell, after all. There is one more. Me? You'd like to know what I shared start this theater? Haha, <laughs> because I'm obsessed with bad endings, of course. Remove the mask. Gently raise your fingers to cracks in my mask. Piece by piece, it falls apart into your hands, revealing. Hmm? I should have warned you, this might affect what you think of my stories. Can't help but compare my face to the maidens. I'm not her, but it's not like she isn't me, necessarily. That's how it is with fiction. Would you like to hear another ending, but the truth? Tell me. Alright, one last story. You may already know this, but it doesn't have to be a happy ending. First, I'll set the stage. In this world, there really are no such things as demons or even heroes, really. There was a girl eager to set out to fulfill some sort of destiny. That part was true. She met someone, another girl. <laughs> Running theme, isn't it? Maiden and the Overlord. The two were inseparable, and for a time, everything was just wonderful. But their families, the communities they came from, neither could approve their relationship. As the reality for many, this pair was no different. Despite their best efforts, the world was intent on pulling them apart. She, no, we. We used to like the types of stories where we'd love conquers all. Or strength of your love and pull through any hardship and everything is okay in the end. I lost her. And I started this theater. But the story does have an end have an happy ending. Huh? I was hoping to find you. It it's you. It's been so long. I thought I'd never see you again. You always think of the worst endings. I wasn't about to give up just because things got difficult. Why didn't you reveal yourself sooner? I felt like such a fool. I could say the same to you. I knew I could never resist giving your stories a happy ending. So, of course, I want to be drawn to a place like this. Yes, but I, I didn't think it would actually work. <laughs> Sometimes everything does turn out okay in the end. Thank you for reminding me of that. I love you. I love you, too. Damn it, that's cute! God damn it! Now truly, everyone can live happily ever after. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. No, I clicked back. Oh my god. Tragedy's end. Huh. There's one more achievement. All right, hold up. I'm gonna look up to figure out what this last achievement in is. Hidden achievement. Bad. About fucking bad. End theater. <laughs> Oh, it's your bad end, I think. Okay, so I just gotta do that again, but figure out how to get my own bad end. Hold up, give me a sec. I'm gonna figure out how to get my bad end.
Never mind. Okay, so I gotta reset. Alright. Reset before the true ending. Alright. <sighs> How do I get uh, my bad end? To get your bad end. Bad end theater. Uh, da da da, hero. Maiden. I'm scrolling through. Oh, okay. Well, that's easier than I thought it would be. All right, let's just get the, the last thing. Hi, guys. All right. Alright, yeah, so it's just keep choosing the wrong traits, apparently. Oh, that's his HP! I thought that was my HP for some reason. So just kill myself. There we go. Your HP has run out. You're overcome by tragedy. Do you wish to challenge me again? Collect more bad endings. You'll be able to reach this path again through the Maiden's True End. I'll be waiting. Okay, cool. Right, 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 right. Now to do one last thing. One last thing. There we go. Skip. Yep. And then, one last thing. This is how to get, and this is gonna end everything. Right. Skip. Nice. All right, and the last achievement, guys. Let's reset. And total reset. Progress has been completely reset. Hmm. Does this count as a bad ending? Well, just in case. Total reset end. And that was bad end theater. Wow. That was that was something. All right. Let me let me close out the stream, guys. Fucking Christ. Right. Gosh, I should probably not, you know, make it, you know, fade out and then fade back in. It's not really that smooth. Anyway, fuck. That was a fun thing. That was a fun, like, two hours, 20 minutes of my life. Holy shit, it's whiteout conditions outside. That's cool. Um, but seriously, I love this. <laughs> I love new creative, like, outlets to, you know, make games interesting sh things and i know this was more choose your own adventure and not really that much of a game but you could also say that about fucking what is it Be uh, detroit become human <laughs> uh anyway yeah no i love the resolution too that was a, a lot of fun uh the, the ending was cute too i loved that i loved that god it's nice that everyone's able to treat each other with kindness now anyway yeah 
No, I love this. I love this. Um, and I stole this idea from Markiplier, so go check his video out on it. I'm not sure how, how he did or if he did anything. But I got all the endings. I'm the coolest. All endings, all achievement. I'm gonna clickbait my fucking. <laughs> I'm gonna clickbait my fucking YouTube video so bad. Uh, this was so much fun. God, I I want more indie games like this where they tr test the waters. Uh, whatever. Anyway, I'm out of here, guys. Uh, two hours and 20 minutes. Not bad. Um, as for tomorrow, I don't know. Maybe Minecraft, something else. I, I don't know. Yeehaw, yippee ki -yay. And um, I'm gone. See you dudes later.